everyone. If you want to turn your K-pop album into a binder for maybe bullet journaling or for a photo card binder, or you just want to take it to school or class and just like look really cool, then I got you with the tutorial. Okay, first let's talk supplies. So the first and most important thing is finding the album of your choice. Okay, so I am using the B album by BTS. And no, this is not my personal album. I actually bought this from eBay for like 20 bucks. It was already opened, half the things were gone, and you know, all I need was the album cover. And as you can see here, there's like minor damages to it. So, you know, it's kind of perfect for this because, you know, it's not like a perfect, perfect album where you're like completely destroying it. It's opened, it's used, you know, all of that. But like no judgment if you do use your personal album. I'm just saying that there's like options out there and they're pretty cheap too. Okay, next is this notebook making kit. So you can definitely buy the supplies that are in this individually, but I got this from Amazon and it made my life like a hundred times easier. So let's break down like what's in here. Okay, so first we have like the spine part of the binder with like the binder rings on it. And it came with these screws so you can, you know, secure it and put it on tight and this little drill thing so you can drill a hole into your album to make the binder. Next, you're gonna need some glue. So I'm using liquid glue, um, but it ended up making my pages wavy. So if you have like an alternative that works, just something to keep in mind. And warning, we are going to be using sharp objects to cut the album. So if that makes you uncomfortable, please uh, skip. And we're gonna need a ruler and a mat. And also if you wanna use the photo book of your album um, just to decorate, that works too. All right, now that we have all the supplies, let's get started. I put this little mat on because I didn't wanna damage my table and you'll see later in this video that I totally did. Okay, so first we need to basically gut this album and so we need to cut the box part, you know, that like kind of holds all the content together. So I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut out this portion and as you can see, I'm kind of struggling. It just really wasn't working for me. So I decided to use a kitchen knife because that's really all that I had. So another warning if that makes you feel uncomfortable and a bigger warning, if you are a child, please get an adult to help you do this part of the DIY. It is super dangerous and you don't wanna mess up and injure yourself. So please get help from an adult. And if you are an adult and you feel like maybe you want another adult to help you, please get that help to do this part. I'm pretty sure um, scissors would work well or a box cutter would work well for this part. Just disclaimer, I'm not an expert. I'm not sure what the best tool would have been for this part, but a kitchen knife worked out for me. So again, warning, please get an adult to help you with this part. So now that we have removed the box part safely, thank God, um, let's just kind of smooth out that cover and get rid of all those little bits of cardboard out. Also, it goes without saying, if you do use a kitchen knife, uh, make sure you wash it when you're done because mine had glue all over it. Okay. Okay, so for the B album specifically, since it was a box shape, we have to like take this little flap out. Um, it was pretty easy. I was able to just like bend it forward and backward and just like loosen it up and rip it out. Okay, so now I am just planning out how I wanna lay out my binder, the inside of it, you know, I want it to look similar to the aesthetic of the B album. So I use some of like the photos that they use in the photo book and I'm cutting them in half because each of the photos were like unit photos and I want, you know, to be OT7 on each side. So you'll see here that I'm like gonna cut them and like put them together. So it's like they're OT7, you know? So now I'm just placing everything, seeing how it'll look like before I actually glue it on. I think like the biggest thing here is that I am going to need a white piece of paper to provide a new background. And then I'm gonna put the actual photos on top of the white paper and then glue everything on. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm going pretty hard with the glue and then I'm just smoothing it out with like a piece of paper that like I folded a couple times to give me like a flat edge. I kind of regretted not doing the glue part right because my paper became a little bit like wavy at the end, it dried wavy. Even though I had the white paper base, the photos that I used on top of it still kind of ended up a little wavy even though I just put like dots of glue. So uh, off camera, I tried fixing that 
by adding more glue like where's the logic here so yeah just be careful with glue if you really want this to be perfect um, maybe not use like liquid glue I'm not sure what to offer as an alternative I'm just letting you know that like using liquid glue made my paper wavy Okay, remember how I like ripped off like the edge of the album and it kind of left like exposed cardboard So I'm just taking that white piece of paper and folding it over it just to make it seem a little bit more clean And then later I'm going to deco it with a bunch of stickers so you can't even tell that the border is there Okay, now it is time for the most important part of making your K-pop album into a binder, the binder part. Okay, so we're gonna take the binder spine ring part. I'm not really sure what it's formally called because on like Amazon when I ordered it, it said like ring binder mechanism, but that sounds kind of weird to me. So anyways, I'm just gonna call it the binder part. Now we're gonna place the binder part and you know, you wanna make sure you get it right. You don't want it to be off-centered or crooked. It's like gonna be impossible to get it super straight, but I suggest just getting a ruler and um, seeing the middle part of your binder spine, or I guess in this case, your album spine, and just going down the middle. So for me, it was about an inch in. You can see those little um, holes on the ring binder part. So basically that's where you're gonna put your screw in. So I'm just trying to make sure that the lines are matching up and then I'm gonna take my pencil and just draw a little dot there. So now I'm gonna drill a hole to the part where I penciled in. And it is really important to have a mat or some like working thing under your album during this part because you're gonna see in just a second here. Um, yeah, I drilled a hole into the mat. You know, this is serious, okay? That tool doesn't look that threatening, but it can make some serious damage. Okay, so you're gonna take the back screw, which is gonna be like the flat screw surface, and you're gonna pop it right into the back part of your binder. And then you're gonna take the ring binder mechanism, as they call it, and place it on top of the screw backing. And then you're gonna take the top screw and just screw it right on. I hope that all made sense. Hopefully visually it looks better than how I'm verbally saying it. And now I'm gonna repeat the same step for the top portion. So just to repeat, we're gonna drill a hole into the binder right where you penciled it in. So it's right in the middle. And then you're just gonna pop that back screw in. I'm so sad that it covered the B part and also the uh, BTS logo. It's just unfortunate positioning. So again, we're gonna place it right on top of the back screw and we're gonna put the top screw right in and we're gonna put the top screw right into the back screw so it's all locked in and tight. And I didn't have a proper screwdriver. Of course, I have like no tools. So I am using a butter knife, I think, to just kind of tighten the top screws. Again, please uh, get an adult or a trusted DIY adult person to um, work with any sharp objects if you end up using any sharp objects. Okay, and then we have it on tight. Here's my little test. It's not budging, it's not falling apart, it's working. So now I'm just putting in my bullet journal paper into my binder. And I totally did not calculate the size that I'll need. So you can see here in my reaction and how mad I was. Oh no, the paper's too big. I wasn't super satisfied with how I had my K-pop album. So off camera, I decoed it with stickers and added some more pictures of the BTS members on the inside. Again, OC7. So I had to like fit everyone in. <laughs> so that was a little bit hard, but you know, it looks cool and I'm really happy with it. And yes, we finished making our K-pop album binder. Can you believe it? We did it.
we made it through the finish line. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you plan on taking your K-pop album and turning it into a binder, let me know which album, comment below. I'm very curious to see what, what K-pop albums you'll be using to turn into a binder. Okay, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!